This verse of John's Gospel prompts us to think about our role in the world as Christians. What does it actually mean to be a branch of a vine? How do we remain in Christ and He in us? How do we as a people of God bear fruit? During this past year, as we faced the challenge and realities of COVID-19, there were times when we all felt like branches blowing in a forceful wind. It is in these difficult times that we call upon Christ for consolation and support. Through His goodness, mercy, and love, we gain strength and receive the spiritual resources we need to bear fruit in our lives. We can both give thanks to God and draw on the care He has for us to share what we have with others. It's in our dependence on Christ, our vine, that we gain our strength to help others. We're called to do our part, to care for those in need, and to do so in a way that bears much fruit. This call is our theme for the 2021 Diocesan Appeal. Through your generous support, Catholic Charities continues God's work in the pandemic, especially at the St. Elizabeth Catholic Community Center. We have a soup kitchen, we have the clothing closet, and then we have the food pantry. Here, the challenges have been just learning how to do a program, but like kind of from afar. So you have to pack a box that's uniform for everybody. It got easier as it went along, because then we knew each day like, okay, we're gonna make this much, and we're gonna put this much in the bags. It runs a lot smoother now than when this first happened, like last year. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There's so much that I feel like people don't know about what we do here. And in, even if you come for one day, you don't even see everything that happens. We have people telling us every single day, thank you so much for all you guys do. Thank you for being open. It's really rewarding. Our Lord Jesus always showed kindness, especially for the most vulnerable. Along with the compassionate work being done at St. Elizabeth's, our diocesan long-term care ombudsman program has continued to connect residents with loved ones at a time they've needed it most. The long-term care ombudsman program provides resident advocacy for adults that are living in long-term care facilities. Our role is to really advocate for residents and connect with them, and the way we do that is through being a presence inside the buildings and speaking one-on-one -on -one with residents of long-term care. We are grateful to be able to maintain that connection and maintain the work that we do all during COVID. The impact that we have helping residents and helping resident representatives still stayed and was there and was addressed every day by our staff. My job isn't easy every day, but every day I look forward to it and it's rewarding. It's impactful and it makes a difference. Since 1975, our office, Catholic Charities, have been involved in the resettling refugees in, uh, around our diocese. We are carrying the mission of the welcoming a stranger and making the difference and rebuilding the lives of the ones who have uh, suffered uh, prosecutions and have to leave their own country. We have made a difference uh, really in uh, uh, rebuilding their lives and making them self-sufficient and becoming a contributive part of our community. Certainly it involves community, involves the parishes, involves the people of the good hearts, with all of us having the goal to help them become as self-sufficient as soon as possible. Caring for others is key to being a branch of Christ's fruitful vine. The Gospels are rich in the stories of Jesus showing his sensitivity to others, especially children. We too are called by Christ to attend to our children and to give them the spiritual and intellectual education they need to succeed, even in trying situations. It's our prayer that our work will bear fruit in their lives as they draw upon these experiences to grow into resilient and faithful Christians, ready to face whatever new challenges may come their way. Our Catholic Education Office supports 29 Catholic elementary schools and six high schools. That's why your assistance through the Diocesan Appeal is vital. 
Even during the pandemic, our Catholic schools provide value above and beyond rote learning. Students receive spiritual guidance in the context of their education to help them succeed as citizens and members of our church community. The investment we all make today in our Catholic schools and religious education programs will pay dividends for children, families, and the Catholic faith itself. We're called to continue the stewardship of all God has provided, of all our ministries, and all He has given to us here in the Rockford Diocese. He is the vine, we are the branches. It is through His love that we bear fruit. Please, help us to bear much fruit with your generous donation to the 2021 Diocesan Appeal. Thank you for giving that, those donations that allow us to continue the work that we do. It's very much appreciated. Without you, even I wouldn't be where I am right now. I ask you to prayerfully consider any contribution, large or small, to our appeal this year. Your generosity is very much appreciated. Thank you. And please know that you and your family are in my prayers.